Hello, I'm Miss Yolanda from the Flint Institute of Arts, and today we're going to be reading the book, Mouse Shapes. But before we start, we always start with our hello song. It's okay if you don't know it, you'll have a chance to learn it. Are you ready? Goes like this. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. All right. Sing it with me this time. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Awesome. So, before we begin our book, I like to talk about the parts of the book. This is the front of the book. This is the back of the book. This is the top of the book. This is the bottom of the book. This is the spine. And what does the spine do? The spine holds the pages in. And this is the edge of the book. The edge of the book is where we open our book to begin reading. What can you make with one oval, two circles, and eight triangles? In the book Mouse Shapes, three clever mice help us figure this out. Here's the cover of the book. Can you see the mice? What are they doing? I see three mice. They're surrounded by a lot of bright colored shapes. The mouse in the middle is holding a blue ball. It looks like he's going to throw it to one of the other mice. Here's the back cover. It says, when three mice run from the cat and hide in a bunch of shapes, creativity breaks loose. What do you think this book will be about? Before we start the book, let's look at a couple of shapes. This shape is an oval. It's like a stretched out circle. Can you find an oval on the cover? There's a red oval right here. Did you find it? Let's take a look inside. Can you find an oval? What color is it? That's right, it's green. What other shapes do you see? I see lots of circles and triangles. There are even squares and a rectangle. In fact, I even see a diamond. Here's a square. If we stretch it out from the sides, we get a rectangle. If we stretch it from the corners, it turns into a diamond. Now, Let's read the book, Mouse Shapes, by Ellen Stoll Walsh. For Betsy and Ron. The mice were running from the cat. Hurry, said Violet. What cat? I don't see a cat. Where is it? Oh, do you see that the mice are running this way? The cat must be behind them over here. Let's hide in here, said Martin. After a while, Fred said, I think we lost him. Look, we've been hiding in shapes, said Violet. We can make things with them. Here's a square. A triangle on top makes it a perfect house for a little mouse. A triangle and a rectangle make a tree, said Martin. This circle is the sun. But these triangles are different, said Fred. Triangles are tricky, said Violet, but any shape with three sides is a triangle. Fred put two circles on a rectangle. It's a wagon for the little mouse in the house, he said. Two diamonds make a book for the little mouse to read, said Violet. Here's one oval. Two circles and eight triangles, said Martin. It's a fish. 
Watch out. The cat likes fish, said Violet. What do you think will happen next? Hmm, let's find out. Hey, let's make the cat, said Fred. Violet put on the eyes and nose. Fred stuck on the ears. And Martin added the teeth. It looks just like the real cat, he said, only better. Just then, the real cat pounced. The mice ran away and didn't come back until the cat was gone. That cat's too sneaky, said Violet. If only we were bigger. I have an idea, said Fred. Hmm, what do you think Fred's idea is? Let's find out. The clever mice got to work. Soon, they made three big, scary mice and surprised the cat. The cat ran away fast. What a scaredy cat, said Violet. Now what can we make for the little mouse in the house? It's time for lunch, said Fred. Let's make him some Swiss cheese. So they did. What would you make for the little mouse in the house? What shapes will you use? I hope you enjoyed this story. Now, it's your turn. Would you like to make something with circles, squares, rectangles, triangles, and ovals? Okay, let's find out how. For this activity, you'll need some scraps of paper, a large sheet of white paper for the background, glue or glue stick, and some scissors. Go on a hunt around your house with your adult and gather up some papers you can use for our art today. Any papers will work. Newspapers, magazines, paper bags, grocery store circulars, junk mail, anything. You can pause this video while you find your papers. And when you're ready, I'll be right here. Now that we have some papers, we need your adult to turn them into squares. Adults, to make the squares, first cut the paper into wide strips like this. Don't worry if your strips aren't perfect. Then cut those strips into squares like this. Now, kids, remember the way we practiced using scissors last time? Give me a thumbs up. Put your thumb in the small hole of the handle of the scissors. Now, put your fingers in the larger hole. Keep your thumb on top when you open and close the scissors, like this. Now that we've practiced, Let's turn those squares your adult cut for you into different shapes. How can we turn this square into triangles with three sides? If we cut it from corner to corner, we get two triangles. How can we turn a square into two smaller rectangles? If we cut it straight up the middle, we get two rectangles. How can we cut the square into smaller squares? If we cut the smaller rectangles in half, we get four smaller squares. It's okay if your triangles, squares, and rectangles aren't perfect. How about a circle? Can we turn this square into a circle? This one's gonna be a little tricky. We need to turn the paper as we cut. Remember to keep your thumb on top and use your other hand to turn the paper. 
cut and turn and cut and turn like this. Sometimes while we practice this new skill, it's helpful to have an adult turn the paper as you cut. Adults, stand behind your child and help them practice cutting circles by placing your hands over theirs and help them cut and turn the paper. Now that you have some shapes, arrange them on the table or another piece of paper to make a picture. It's okay if you don't quite know what you want to make right now. Take some time and think about it. Practice arranging your shapes on the paper until you get an arrangement that you like. You can make a picture of anything you like. If you have some glue, glue your shapes onto the paper. I can't wait to see what you create. Here's a quick parenting tip. Allow your child to take the lead when working on art together. Remember to encourage their ideas and perspective. Bye-bye until next time.